Um, how do I feel? Honestly, I, really, I don't know how to feel. It's such an amazing feeling uh, being up there and, and, and knowing that you've won. And like I said, I've put so much hard work and years into X-Fighters and you know some bad luck, some okay luck. And I felt like I was finally getting there. And then it was a bad start last year to now this year. I, I was happy to be top five and now I'm number one. So like I said, I, I feel light. Um, yeah, I just, words cannot explain right now. I'm, ha I'm very, very happy. You know, I, I come into this X Fighters in Mexico with no real secret. I just wanted to put my head into the game and, and just put a solid run down. Everyone's been saying it. You know, you just need to put one good solid run in, and, and you'll have the, you'll have it. And that's what I come. That's what I come here to do. And I did it, and I finally did it, and it's paid off. You know, getting carted around with all the guys and and looking at the crowd and waving to everyone and 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 seeing all the sparkle stuff come down. It's just like, man, this. This is finally my dream. I finally did it. It's a reality now. And I guess it's so special here because it's like the, the atmosphere, the bullfighting ring, the fans are so into it. Everyone's right over the top of you. And, you know, back in time it was the bullfighting. Well, now it's the freestyle motocross battling it out. And it's just such a crazy experience. And obviously the Mexican fans just love it. They can't get enough. So that's why we're here for the 10th time.